Now when we start the thread for our streaking caddis, basically in line with the point of the hook, this point here. Now the thread I'm using is a uni thread, AO and K hill. Just gonna move the base piece. Now we'll put a line of wax down the thread. Give us plenty of grip. Now it's only for grip here because I basically don't like to put wax on a thread to add dubbing, especially in the way I'm gonna add it just now. Now the this is life cycle by Wopsy and I'm going to be using the Caddis dubbing and ginger. It's a lovely dubbing to use. Now I usually just cut the corner off the packet and tease it out. It's much easier to do that. And then I usually just like the easiest way is just to put it on quite loose like because I want to form a nice Caddis shape. Now back to the dubbing if, or basically wax. If, the reason I don't like putting the wax on is I don't have any, once you wax the thread here I mean this, this dubbing goes on dead easy, right, real really easy and you don't need to wax the thread and you want to be able to move it around like I'm going to be doing here when I'm sort of forming the shape and if you if you wax the thread at this point what happens is it just not move for you and you don't need it as I say there is some dubbings that I like to use a very fine so I like mole or hair's ear where I want it to grip a bit better um, because it's so short. Now what I'm doing is going up here, I need a, a decent sh taper. I want a nice tapering body of this fly. Just tightening up and pulling it to get the shape that I want. Now the reason I'm doing uh, like getting the body in this shape, very deep carrot shape, it's, a con it's continuing from the head and onwards so you get that continuous shape. You see you get that nice shape there. Now you don't want you don't need a rib. Perfectly like not in that case it's fine. Now the for the wing and basically for the, the head I'm using this is roe deer. Just happens to be a very good bit. I mean uh, you pick bits of deer hair up and some seem to suit some flies better than others. Now this is basic row has a nice colour, nice short black fibre at the tip so I've got a nice, when I go to stack this what will happen is I've got a nice sort of colour blend as you see the black, the tips very short, not too long and when you put them in almost into the stack of tips first tap it on your desk and line them up, you get that natural curve which you want, and put that into the the hand that's basically Going to have all. Well, if you hold the ends here, and you don't want to swap hands because what'll happen then they'll start to separate. Now length, you're looking at the length of the hook, but obviously tied back at this point here, so that goes over the back. And you want to keep it on the top. It's important that you keep this on the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these ends so you can see them a wee bit, just a wee bit shorter. There we are. And then I'm going to come round really tight and pull put tons of thread right in and tight and pack it really pack it nice and tight with your fingers just check your ring at this point looks ok I'm just going to pull this back come in with the thread and I'm just going to make sure I've got the grip Nice and tight. And then, get some more deer here. And we slowly build this up. Now I'm going to form, this is for the head, so I'm more interested in the bottom of the, the deer here. I mean, I'll give you an idea, I'll cut away the tips. You'll see these tips here. I'll just make a mess on the floor so you can see what I'm doing. If I come up, yeah, I'll come down a bit. There we go. I'm just taking these off. And what that's going to give me is just basically the hollow fibres which you really need for the head. Come in, come round with a couple of loose, loose turns and then allow this to roll round. Tighten up with your thread. Basically keep the thread tight, draw these fibres back. A couple of turns and then come in with your nails and tighten it up. And we do the same again, 
So we have to come and get. This should be enough. Once I've tied this in, it's enough to form the head. Open out the fibres. Take away some of the under fur if you want. Come in, cut away these ends. Yeah, we have too much and take a wee drop of weight. And then come in, two loose turns, tighten up and allow it to spin round the hook. Keeping the thread always tight, just draw this back, bring your thread to the, the eye, get a few turns in, and whip finish. Do it. Now I'm going to form the head, and the first thing I do is bring out these cut ends. Just come in with you, point at the scissors, and you can pull them out so they're practically 90 degrees from the stem. And you need to get that shape into your head, so basically, I'm going to use the angle of the head, the, the eye. And then start off, and I'm just going to come round. And if you can rotate your vice like I'm doing here, it'll make it much easier. Get it started. And you start to cut out this tapered shape. Let's work the way around. Now when you're cutting the underside, I'll just basically look at the shape of your body and then come in and form or get it so it runs onto that. Looks okay. Steer here is one of these things you could actually sit and trim and trim and trim. Any one or two fibres you miss, just come in and take them away. And I'm just going to take away a bit. You drop more at the top over here to more, give it more a point. Basically, yeah. And that's your streaking caddis. It's a very popular fly in many countries. Uh, especially in the Scandinavian countries, a lot, a lot of guys I know that like to use it. And there we are. Tying them any colour. Tying them all the colours you can think of. And they'll still work. Dyed deer hair as well. Then up at the back, yep. You see what I mean by the shape? It just continuously, like if you cut, then falls onto the body and works its way around. And you want the wing just to sort of show, just on the top, like there. And there we are. Then we just a wee bit of varnish into the eye. I usually just dab it straight on onto round the eye. Making sure it gets into the thread turns. And then you could always come in with your dubbing needle. Or even a wee, a wee bit of, this is a bit of pheasant tail here, I can just clean it out. And there we go. And that's basically what I call ethyl. The streaking caddis. I hope you enjoyed that.